in this video we'll further see a couple of basic functions so suppose we want to calculate the break even point we'll press second and the number 6 so this stands for the fixed cost let's take an example if we enter the fixed cost as 100 and this is the variable cost which we enter as 2 and let's take the price per unit to be 3 in this case if we want to calculate the break even point we have to put the profit required pft stands for the profit required as 0 enter and in this case the quantity required will be compute 100 because as we saw we had taken the price per unit to be 3 and the variable cost per unit to be 2 which gave us the contribution as 1 per unit and the fixed cost required to be recovered was 100 so we got got the quantity required as 100 now for example we want the quantity required to be 800 enter in this case the profit required will be 700 now if we want the profit required to be 20 in this case the quantity required will be compute 120 so if we want to calculate any one missing value and we have the other values we can do so using this function now we'll clear the work let's see another basic function percentage change so we press second and the number 5 suppose our old value is 100 enter and let's take the new value as 110 enter in this case the percentage change will be compute 10 10% now this stands for the number of periods suppose if we take the number of periods as 2 this would mean that 100 is becoming 110 in two periods and in this case the percentage change per period will be this clear let's see another basic function so this icomb suppose we press 2 uh, so this stands for nominal so if we take the nominal rate of interest as say 12 enter and uh, this stands for uh the number of time the compounding is happening so let's take it as 12 enter in this case the effective rate will be 12.68 now if we take the number of uh, periods or the n to be let's say uh half yearly compounding in that case we'll take it as 2 enter and the effective rate will be 12.36